Hello there, Libra. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast. This forecast is for the week of September 30th through October 6th. If there are any cards that come up during this reading that make you want to look deeper at what's going on during that day, or if you have other things that you are trying to make decisions about and you would just like a little bit more insight, feel free to contact me. I do offer private readings either by phone or by Skype. All my contact information is um, on the website that's in the description box below. If you live in the United States, go ahead and call me or text me on my cell phone. If you live outside the United States, call or text me on Skype. But for right now, let's just see what cards you have for the week, Libras. Okay, so Libra, on Monday, the first card that you have showing up is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse means that things that you're trying to get accomplished, are um, it's going to kind of feel like you're walking through deep mud and having to unstick your foot for every step. Um, things are just going to be a little bit of a slow go. Things aren't going to happen. Um, just real easy peasy on Monday, okay? Doesn't mean there's anything particularly bad outstanding. Just means that things are going to be a little bit mm, more difficult to accomplish. There's going to be more obstacles along the way than usual. Now, on Tuesday, what you have showing up as the Guardian. And the Guardian is an interesting card because it talks about facing your fears. So there's some kind of fear that you're really looking at. Um, Sometimes it's not even fear, sometimes it's temptation. So facing some kind of fear or some kind of temptation and knocking that thing out, just one, two punch, okay? So this talks about facing that fear, facing that temptation, not letting it get to you, and then moving forward. Because if that doesn't get to you, if you check this out, this guardian skeleton thing is guarding your pathway forward. And so if you don't let that fear or temptation block you, then you can continue forward on your path for your life in a productive way. If you let this thing block you, you get kind of stalled out here, okay? So this is facing some kind of fear or temptation and not letting it get the best of you on Tuesday. Now, on Wednesday, what we have coming up is the card that talks about clearance. So this can manifest in a few different ways. And for you Libras, for some of you, this will manifest in different ways than for others. For some of you, this is going to be a very tangible, a very tangible type of clearance. You're going to be clearing things out of your house, um, giving them to goodwill, throwing them in the trash. Um, you're going to be clearing away some of those unneeded things that are just taking up space. And for others of you, this is more about emotional, clearing away emotional baggage, clearing away things that have been dragging you down and holding you back that are more in the emotional arena, doing some work on yourself to clear those away. Either way, you've got clearance coming in on Wednesday, Libra. For some of you, this could be both. The actual physical act of clearing things out of your house that are unnecessary could also be helping you to release things at an emotional level. <coughs> Excuse me. little dust in my throat. I apologize for that, laborers. Okay, let's look at Thursday. Here what you have is the run card showing up the page of arrows. This just tells me that you're digging for some kind of information. You may be doing research for school or you may be digging for information in other ways, but digging for information is what's coming up on Thursday. Now, Friday, What you have is the stag card showing up in reverse. I do feel Libras like this is somebody that you're interacting with. And this is somebody who has some kind of authority in your life, but they are not somebody who walks in perfect integrity. They can be a little bit corrupt. Um, they can be um, somebody who doesn't always look out for your best interest. Sometimes they're looking out for more of what's of interest to them, even as they are guiding you and what they think would be best for your life. So you want to be a little bit cautious of this. You may not want to take their advice or um, listen to exactly every word that they say without verifying that what they're giving you is actually truth and actually in your best interest whenever this shows up on Friday. And then Saturday, you have the eel showing up in reverse. What's going on here with this? 
I think you've got a solution in your life or a situation in your life where you've been looking for solutions and you're starting to feel like you just don't know of a solution that's going to do what you need it to do. I think you've even been looking outside the box for these solutions that you're looking for. And even with looking outside the box, you're still at a point where you're not sure what the solution is that that you actually need or what will actually work best for you with this card coming in in reverse. This is something that you don't want to rush yourself on. You want to allow yourself some time to think. And also what's coming up here is that there's somebody outside your health, yourself that has some idea about these solutions. Um, and their idea actually is pretty good. You may want to listen to them. And I kind of feel like this person who has a good idea for you Libras is not somebody that you would expect to have a good idea about the solution. Okay. So this is not going to be your normal go-to person for answers. Now let's look at Sunday. Here we have the waters of life showing up. This just tells me that you're really enjoying your day on Sunday. You may very much be relaxing, floating around on the water like that swan and like that little, I don't know what this is, canoe looking thing. Is that a leaf that's all curly? Is that a man-made wooden canoe? I don't know, but he's floating around on the water. You know, the moose is getting, or I don't know that that's a moose, maybe it's an antelope, whatever. Anyway, he is getting revitalized by that water. So this is a day of rejuvenation and relaxation for you on Sunday, Libras. Good for you. Good for you, good for you. All right. So there is that. Thank you so much, those of you, for hanging out here and watching this, for sharing this with others that it may help, for subscribing, for liking. And also, I'm looking forward to seeing some of you here for readings this week, and I'll see the rest of you on the next video. Peace out.